Hi, I'm Ashley with DAV, and I am joined today by DAV National Deputy Legislative Director Shane Learman. Um, Shane, really big news popped up today on the PACT Act. Um, I just wanted to, to check in with you, kind of get a, a feel for where we're at and what this news will mean as far as that legislation is concerned. Well, it's very exciting. Senator Tester and Senator Moran have come to an agreement on the Honoring Our PACT Act, which is the most historic large piece of toxic exposure legislation ever, ever considered by the Senate. So their agreement signals that we're probably going to be getting a vote on this in the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee next week, which is really important because then it will become eligible to go to the floor to be voted on by the entire uh, chamber of the U.S. Senate. Great. So definitely forward momentum. Um, like you said, this is this is a bill where we're, we're very close. We're so close um, to, to getting this past the finish line. Um, can you just really quick remind our audience of some of the, the highlights of what this bill will do for veterans and their families of all generations? Oh, absolutely. A lot of the big things is it'll provide health care eligibility for veterans not otherwise eligible to get health care, specifically those post 9-11 who've been exposed to toxins or have been in combat themselves. That's a big piece of this. It'll also recognize for the first time diseases related to burn pit and toxic exposures, 23 different diseases. And one of the more exciting parts of this as well, it's going to impact Vietnam era veterans because it's going to add hypertension as a presumptive disease for Agent Orange exposure, as well as add other locations conceding Agent Orange exposure, such as Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Guam, America, Samoa, and Johnston Atoll. So it's going to do a lot for the Vietnam generation, as well as it'll also recognize three new locations as radiation risk activities to actually encompass another generation of veterans exposed to toxins. So this is really a, a pretty comprehensive bill. And the other thing I want to point out, too, it's bipartisan legislation. Um, it's incredibly widely supported. Uh, there's more than 60 military and veteran service organizations that support this. The VA supports it. President Biden has said he, you know, he's come out and said he will sign this if it gets to his desk. So really, this is the final hurdle is just getting it through the Senate. So this is the last stage. We really need to make a push. How can our audience help to make that happen? They can reach out to their senator specifically, uh, both senators in their state, and let them know how important it is we get this comprehensive toxic exposure legislation through the Senate. We've been working on this DAV since about 2007, but over the last four years, we've been working very closely with the Senate and collaborating with a very large VSO, Veteran Service Organization Coalition. It's exciting to see all of this work everybody is doing is, as you noted, at that last hurdle, and we need to clear it so that the veterans who have been suffering from these diseases can get the health care and benefits they need, and it'll help their families as well. Yeah, thank you, Shane. This is a really, like I said, historic opportunity. You can, as a, as a viewer, as a supporter of veterans, you can be a part of, of getting this bill across the finish line. Um, visit DAVCAN.org. You can contact your senators right from our, our legislative platform, send them a message, tell them to vote yes on the PACT Act, um, and, and together we can make this happen. We can get this done. Thank you again, Shane, for your help, for your advocacy, all your efforts in, in getting this bill to the point where it's at. Um, but right now we, we can't let down the fight. We have to keep pushing um, and we need everyone's help. So please, again, visit DAVCAN.org and make your voice heard.